Shine the light on that. Oh yeah, let's go. What's up, guy? <coughs> Ooh, this is gonna be another couple takes. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm a bit under the weather. <coughs> Thumbs up in detail. <laughs> now I, 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 I just gotta say right now. Now I love how they gave the Gundams in the back. <coughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and read what. I gotta apologize. The hype is so real. I'm just knocking stuff over. I'm glad my cam didn't break. So let's look at the visual rev. <laughs> So many mistakes. Who? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What is up guys, Venge here bringing you another epic home video unboxing, but before I get started, I gotta give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for sending this dope collection over my way. And if you become interested in this amazing hype, then you definitely want to make sure to use the link in the description section to get the right stuff for the right price. And so today we're going to be reviewing Mobile Fighter G Gundam Collection 2. And this is definitely one of the most hype collections right now because they have been selling these like hotcakes recently. So let's look at the uh, visual presentation of this beloved series. The box art here is once again very clean and uh, yeah, very detailed. And the the, uh, the background design follows the same pattern as the uh, previous collection, especially with the flames in the background there. And then you also have the first collection says volume one in the top left and volume two still has that dope manga-esque kind of feel to them. So, I mean, I really love that design. It really fits this French eyes really well i love it so much so the biggest difference here is that they did a lot of different things with the characters and gundams in the background this is the biggest difference here so let's look at uh rain allen b and the gundams behind them oh man not gonna lie we got quite a bit of high quality positive non-click bait going on here took me a minute to think about why Rain and Allen B look a bit, <laughs> you know, glossy. Pretty much that is like the reflection off of the battle suits that are made out of shiny spandex. Yeah. Makes sense. Thumbs up for the detail. Because <laughs> they are quite detailed with this. I was like, oh boy quite steamy right there so uh, moving on so now i love how they gave the gundams in the back this very dark but detailed look you didn't go with the classic silhouette like mystery gundams what are they i have no idea and so i like how the gundams to the right has a more sinister look to them we're talking about these Gundams right here. I just really like the decision to do that. It looks very interesting because it really gives the impression that those Gundams belong to the villains of the series. And uh, when you look at the Gundam to the left, it's really hard to tell whether that is the burning Gundam or the dark Gundam. I mean, like, however, one thing to keep in mind the dark Gundam is much bulkier. So I assume this is uh, a detailed picture of Domon's new burning Gundam. It just looks more mysterious. And you, it, it definitely makes me feel that's the burning Gundam because the eyes are not sinister. They're the uh, typical green hue that the uh, Gundams that Domon uses has. I mean, so it makes sense. So with that said, Let's go ahead and transition over to the spinal portion. 
And so as you can see here, it follows the same consistent pattern as the previous collection. The major difference here is just that instead of volume one, it has volume two there, kind of got out of focus. But you can definitely see the difference there. And then you also have a thumbnail, trying to get it back in focus, there we go, of Domon's new Gundam in its powered up state. So that's the difference there. So let me show you something real quick. And so there you go. You have, that's the major difference between the two. Just looks really clean, really consistent. So if you was to put these together in order side by side, the, you know, you can easily tell them apart. I mean, just very clean and consistent. I mean, consistency is really good when it comes to right stuff anime. I just love their consistency. Mm. And so when you get to the back, I mean, the what they did here, let me give you a shine it up a little bit for you there. And so when you look in the back, the previous members of the Shuffle Alliance, Shuffle Alliance and their respective Gundams are arranged in the exact same way as the new generation Shuffle Alliance was portrayed on the first collection. Once again, you have more of that high quality consistency, especially when you look at the thumbnails, follows the same hype pattern. Um, I will talk more about the Shuffle Alliance later, but you know, once again, it's just that consistency that I wanted to point out. As you could see, you have the older generation of the Shuffle Alliance, and then here's the newer generation, the newest generation of the Shuffle Alliance. It just looks very clean. I just love it very much. So why don't I go ahead? <coughs> Excuse me, and read what's on the back here. A new Gundam. After pulling off an incredible stunt, Domon has made his way to the finals in Neo Hong Kong. Now the battles begin in earnest. George, Chibody, and all the other members of the Shuffle Alliance must fight to stay alive. Also, complicating matters are the new rules introduced by Prime Minister Wong, including the infamous Anything Goes rule, where fighters can use any and all methods to achieve victory. As Domon tries to master his new Gundam, he is faced with challenges both in and out of the ring, as he soon finds himself targeted by assassins. Includes episodes 25 through 49, Clean opening three, clean ending two, and commercial collections. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So once again, we have that consistency. You have the like little, the ripple, like the ripple effect that they used with the thumbnails here. Very clean labeling clean pictures of the thumbnail i mean of the gundams very clean colors i mean everything just looks absolutely beautiful i mean holy crap man i mean just look at it cleanliness all around let's take a look at this look at this beauty look at that art and detail man so freaking amazing this is the most hype part of this collection too oh boy some serious foreshadowing here but i'm just gonna leave it at that it's just so clean I, it was like oof i love right stuff with their high quality art man it's just absolutely amazing the fact that you are still here means you want to learn more about this hype product yes the release of this product during the month of December was a great way to end the year of 2018. So if you are watching and want to purchase a legendary masterpiece, then start off 2019 right by using the link in the description section to get the right stuff for the right price. So. The thing that I love about this collection is the start 
of the collection. Um, sometimes you may want, um, get a collection from franchises and they would have this strange, awkward start. But when it comes to the G Gundam collection, they started perfectly. It begins at the start of the most hype part of the series, which is the Gundam fights. Or should I say the Gundam fight finals. And so, just to backtrack a little bit, near the end of Collection 1, the origins and introduction of the Dark Gundam began. And so there was a huge battle and surprising resolutions that took place to help set the tone for Collection 2. You know, each fighter surpassed their struggles and set out for the Gundam Fight Finals. And as the finals begin, um, awaiting the new generation, Shuffle Alliance is the Dark Gundam. Now, I don't want to reveal too much about the Shuffle Alliance to avoid spoilers. So I will leave you with this. In Collection 1, Domon and the rest of the main fighters of the series was chosen by fate to inherit the title of the Shuffle Alliance. Now, <coughs> I will leave you with this. Think of the Shuffle Alliance as like protectors of balance and order. And now these characters here, Ooh, this is so shiny. That's much better. So these guys are the old generation, or should I say the previous generation of the Shuffle Alliance, and they passed on their will to the new generation, which is Domon and his friends. So that's what I wanted to talk about there. So Collection 2 is the final conclusion to the series. So therefore you will encounter the most drama and exciting moments of the G Gundam series. New Gundams, new acquired skills, stronger bonds, excuse me, stronger bonds between the new generation Shuffle Alliance, as well as gut-wrenching feels for the pain that Domon experiences near the end. And I'm telling you, it's going to give you the feels. I mean, I don't want to get into too much because my excitement can lead me to spoil things and I'll have to waste more time editing this video, which I'm going to have to do. So <laughs> I'll stop there. Um, now, the quality is equal to that of the first collection which I did finish and that was just powerful. I mean, I'll rehash the part of my first video cause I didn't, I mean, I don't think I can explain why forcing widescreen is not a wise idea any better than I have. I mean, look at the screenshots. I mean, come on, the color pops and you get a better glimpse of the detail. I mean, that's the right stuff, people. I'm just saying, um, and please do not let the 4 to 3 aspect ratio fool you, okay? Do not let that fool you. This series is old, so forcing widescreen on it would only reduce the overall visual quality. And Right Stuff did an amazing job improving the visuals without ruining the other properties of the video. It, it kind of reminds me of how um, I do things as a content creator, you know, um, because let me give you an example. If I was to blow up the size of a Pokemon game, well, the picture would look far worse. Because, like, Pokemon, the big Pokemon titles that are popular and everyone like to watch is more of the retro kind, the... Pokemon games that you play on the DS's and the Game Boy Advance Game Boy Color so the screen is technically small so eventually as you make it bigger like the quality of that picture gets worse so you can only upscale it so much and that's what I'm getting at there so um, Right Stuff knows how to deliver the best quality Awesome. If you haven't checked out my review of Collection 1, 
make sure to look into it by clicking the outro after this video. Now the English voice acting is exactly as I remember. I mean the visual quality is perfect, audio is well synced, and nothing feels out of place which gives G Gundam Collection 2 <coughs> a rating of 10 out of 10. <coughs> Gives G Gundam Collection 2 a rating of t Which gives G Gundam Collection 2 a rating of 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching, and if you are interested in getting this awesome collection, then use the link in the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Thanks again, and be blessed, and look forward to seeing you again next time. Peace.